So how much rest you should take during a rest week really depends on the amount of training stress or fatigue that you're carrying coming into that rest week. So for a cyclist that's regularly training maybe 15 hours a week, it might be appropriate for them to pile up five days off the bike during that rest week to ensure that they've completely recovered and been able to restore during that time. If you're only training six to eight hours a week, you know maybe three days off the bike is enough to ensure you've gotten enough rest. If you're only riding on the bike a couple days a week, maybe somewhere in the three to four hour range, then I would recommend not taking a rest week at all unless you're feeling like you really need kind of a break from the mental stress or fatigue from another area of life. But in general, the more training stress you bring into the rest week, the more days you take off the bike. If you're not training that much, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother uh, with taking more than maybe just one or two days off the bike.